This is the Sydney funnel web spider. As its name suggests, it lives in and around the city where it's known to have killed at least 13 people. And these are the only spiders in the world which are truly lethal. Prior to the development of antivenom, there was nothing that medicine could do to guarantee survival, even in an adult, from a major funnel web spider bite. Both male and female spiders carry venom used for killing their insect prey, but it's the male's extra venom component that's a danger to people. The females seldom leave their underground burrows, whereas males often wander in search of females. It's the males that are the more potent to humans. Part of the reason is when you look at males, they come out of their burrows and they go foraging. The females stay within the burrows and stay put. Staying hidden helps to avoid predators, but for the times when it does venture out into the open, the spider has developed a highly potent toxin which it can use if threatened. Once you come out of your burrow, you're then exposed to predators. Your predators are liable to be marsupials and things of that nature. So you've got to have this extra component in your venom that you can use for defence. There's another venomous Australian spider that resides far beyond the city limits, the redback. And it's notorious for lurking in dark, dry places, often right under your nose. In Australia, more antivenom is used to treat redback spider bite than all other bites combined, including snake bite. It's a very common problem, with probably greater than a thousand cases receiving antivenom every year. And this species is also well travelled. They have a fondness for long haul luggage, and they found themselves 7,000 kilometres away in the port of Osaka, Japan. It arrived on the Osaka docks probably around 1994 and quickly spread, so that by 1996 there were probably maybe hundreds of thousands of redback spiders in Osaka. I found higher concentrations around the dock area than you normally see even in Australia. Back in his North Australian lab, Jamie Seymour takes a closer look at these spider venoms. And it is the Sydney funnel web that poses the greatest threat to humans according to the five point scale. During the mating season, funnel web males are drawn into gardens and houses, increasing the likelihood of a human encounter. And though it might rather avoid confrontation, it will not shy away from defending itself. Despite feeding mainly on insects, its fangs are long enough to pierce human skin and deliver a small quantity of highly potent venom.